Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's logo design tutorial, we will design this modern and vibrant logo by using Inkscape. So without wasting any time, let's continue with the design process. So first of all, if your Inkscape preview isn't appearing like this, then go to view and select it to custom. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options must be turned on. Then go to file, select the document properties, select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Then select the width of your page to 1920 and height to 1080 pixels and simply select this cross icon. And now the presence of two menus is very important for almost each and every project. The first one is fill and stroke menu, simply click on this icon and the second one is align and distribute menu, simply click on this icon. And you can see that both of these menus are appearing on the right side of your screen. Now simply click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows. Now before designing our logo, we will create the reference geometry. So select the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle. Then select the direct selection tool and set the height of your rectangle to 75 pixels and press enter. And apply it some different color like this red color. Then right click and select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy like this and to differentiate between the parts simply apply it some different color like this green one and now we want to place this corner of green rectangle at this corner of the red one to do this we will turn on the snapping options so click on this icon enable snapping then click on this one which says snap nodes path and handles then select snap to paths also this one snap to path intersections and this one which says snap to rectangle corners. Now drag this green rectangle at this position and you can see that the green rectangle is perfectly placed at the corner of the red one. Now again select this red rectangle, right click and select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy and set the value of height to 340 pixels and press enter. And also drag this one at this corner of the green rectangle like this. Now select all of these parts then simply go to fill and stroke menu and set the value of opacity to 50% and press enter. Then select the pen tool, left click at this corner, hold down your control key and move your mouse cursor towards the right, again left click and press enter. Now select the selection tool, right click on this line, select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy at this intersection point, again right click, duplicate, drag at this intersection point right click duplicate and drag it at this corner now simply select all of these rectangles and press delete on the keyboard and this is our reference geometry now select the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle now select the selection tool and select the height of your rectangle to 115 pixels and press enter now we want to rotate this rectangle at 65 degrees so go to object select transform and in the transform menu simply go to rotate select the value of angle to 65 click on this icon which says counterclockwise direction and select apply and our object is rotated to 65 degrees in counterclockwise direction now simply drag it at this position right click select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy towards the left side like this and to differentiate between the parts, simply select a different color like this red color. Now again select this green rectangle, right click, select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy like this. Now select this red rectangle, right click, select duplicate and drag it at this position. Again select green one, right click, duplicate and drag it like this. Now simply select this red rectangle and press delete. Also this one and delete. Now we will convert these angular corners with respect to these linear lines. So select the rectangle tool, hold down your left mouse button at this corner and draw a rectangle like this. Then select the selection tool, hold down the shift key and click on this green rectangle, go to path and select difference. Again select the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle from this corner, like this. Again select the selection tool, 
होल्ड डाउन द शिफ्ट की एंड सेलेक्ट दिस मिडल ग्रीन रेक्टेंगल गुड पाथ एंड सेलेक्ट डिफरेंस अगेन सेलेक्ट द रेक्टेंगल टूल एंड ड्रॉ अ रेक्टेंगल फ्रॉम दिस कॉर्नर देन सेलेक्ट द सिलेक्शन टूल होल्ड डाउन द शिफ्ट की एंड सेलेक्ट दिस ग्रीन रेक्टेंगल देन गुड पाथ एंड सेलेक्ट डिफरेंस Now we will select all of these rectangles. Simply go to Path and select Union. Again, select the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from this corner, like this. Then select the Selection tool, hold down the Shift key, and click once on this green rectangles. Go to Path and select Difference. Now simply right-click on this shape, select Duplicate, and click on this icon, Flip horizontally. and apply a different color like this red color now we can easily differentiate between the original and the duplicated copy now simply press z on the keyboard and zoom in this area hold down the selection tool and drag this red shape at this corner of this green one like this now simply select zoom to fit page in windows select all of these parts go to path and select break apart and now deselect all of these shapes by clicking on the white area then select this red rectangle and press delete now we will delete the unwanted parts so simply select the pen tool left click once at this corner at this position at this corner and now complete the shape like this and now select the direct selection tool simply hold down the shift key and click once at this green rectangle go to path and select difference Again select the pen tool then click once at this corner then at this one then simply complete the shape like this then again select the direct selection tool hold down the shift key and click once at this red rectangle go to path and select difference now simply press z on the keyboard and zoom in this area then again select the pen tool click once at this corner then at this position and complete the shape like this then select the selection tool simply hold down the shift key and click once on this red rectangle then go to path and select difference and now select zoom to fit page in windows and now we are done with the basic shape of our logo and now we can delete these reference lines by left clicking and press delete and now before applying the colors we will create our gradients So simply select all of these parts go to edit and select cut And now we doesn't need this transform menu so simply we will cancel it then select the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle like this And in the fill and stroke menu simply increase the opacity to 100% and also disable the snapping options by clicking on this icon then select this gradient tool hold down your left mouse button at this corner of the shape and drag it towards this one and now the opacity of this right corner is 0% we will increase the value to 100% so simply select this fill menu and here we have the option for the color code simply select the value to ff8776 then click at this left corner and this time select the value to fe397f and we are done with the first gradient now select the selection tool right click on this shape and select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy like this again right click select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy at this position now select this part again select the gradient tool click once at this left corner again in the fill and stroke menu simply write the code value to ef4136 then click once at this right corner and this time write the value fbb040 and we are also done with our second gradient now simply click on this third rectangle click once at this left corner and write the color code to a712b1 and for this corner simply write the code to fb7998 now we are done with our gradient colors simply select the direct selection tool select all of these parts right click and select group 
and for the future use you can save them on your page so simply reduce the size and save it at this corner now you can easily apply these gradients to any shape like select this rectangle tool then draw a random rectangle and in the fill and stroke menu simply click on this icon which says linear gradient and here you can see that all of these gradients are appearing on this menu click once and you can see that our gradient is applied to the shape also this one and this one and you can simply apply the gradient color by using only one click now select the selection tool and simply delete this rectangle then go to edit and select paste in place now simply click on this icon which says zoom to fit selection and also enable the snapping options by clicking on this icon then select the pen tool click once at this intersection point also on this one this one and complete the shape like this now it doesn't need the boundary color so we will cancel it by holding down the shift key and clicking on this cross icon and apply a solid color like this yellow color now simply select the selection tool right click select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy at this corner again right click select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy at this position then click on this icon which says flip vertically and drag it at this corner like this again right click duplicate and drag it at this corner now hold down the shift key and select all of these yellow shapes simply go to edit and select cut then select zoom to fit page in windows select all of these shapes go to fill and stroke menu and increase the opacity to 100% then deselect all of these parts by clicking on the white area select this green shape and click on this icon raise selection to top then select the edit pass by nodes tool and drag this node at this corner of the red shape now again select the selection tool click once at this middle green rectangle then click on this icon raise selection one step now it's time to apply our gradients so simply select this part in the fill and stroke menu simply select linear gradient and select the gradient with the name 945 then select this red rectangle again go to linear gradient and this time select the gradient with the name 961 again select this green rectangle go to linear gradient and again apply the gradient with the name 961 now select this red rectangle again go to linear gradient and this time select the gradient with the name 945 now select this last green rectangle go to linear gradient and finally select this gradient with the name 967 now if you want to customize the positions of the colors then simply select the edit gradient tool and you can see the handles you can simply play with these handles like this Select this shape, try to position the handles with respect to the angle of the shape, which is 65 degrees. Now this orange one, like this, click on this one and also arrange the handles at 65 degrees, like this. Now select this shape and also if you want to flip the colors, then simply click on this icon, reverse the direction of gradient, like this and your colors will be flipped horizontally now after arranging our gradients we will simply paste over yellow shapes so go to edit and select paste in place and simply apply this white color and in the fill and stroke menu simply reduce the opacity to 10% and press enter and you can see that it provides an excellent blending now it's time to apply the shadows so simply select the selection tool select all of these shapes and select zoom to fit selection then select the pen tool click at this intersection point at this one this one this corner and simply complete the shape now it doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel it by holding down the shift key and clicking on this cross icon and apply a solid black color by clicking on this one now again select the gradient tool hold down your left mouse button at this corner and drag it like this 
and to adjust the position of the gradient simply drag this handle like this i think that this is better and to apply your gradient more smoothly simply select on this corner now select the pick color tool and click on the color which is close to the handle like this and once you are done simply cancel the color by clicking on this cross icon and you can see that it provides a more smoother gradient again select the edit gradient tool and drag it like this and then simply reduce the opacity to 50 percent now select the selection tool right click select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy at this corner now again select the pen tool click once at this intersection point at this corner at this intersection point at this corner and simply complete the shape again we doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel it by holding down the shift key and clicking on this cross icon and select this solid black color then select the gradient tool and draw a simple gradient like this adjust the position as per your requirements i think that this is better now select the pick color tool click once at the color which is close to the handle then cancel the color by clicking on this cross icon then select this color go to fill and stroke menu and select the value of opacity to 50 percent and press enter now select the selection tool right click select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy at this corner now simply select zoom to fit page in windows and now we are done with our modern and vibrant logo design this logo design is not very much vibrant but it has the ability to work in both dark and light background and now this is for today's logo design tutorial in inkscape you can also share your thoughts about the design in the comments section that whether you liked it or not and if you think that this video helps you in some way then like and subscribe the channel thanks for watching and have a nice day